Logo. <laughs> Found Lake. There he is. What? Where are we going now, Luke? What are we doing? Oh, we need some worms. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna go dig up some bait, some worm bait. Under the school, you clam. I'm not very good at digging worms. Here, I just dig. Dig there. I've got about 12 out of one scoop. Right. I'm going to look. Oh, there's a worm. Stop, look. <laughs> that's sort of part of a worm, yeah, that's no, right. Much. A in there. See that one? Now that is a 42 centimetre perch, that one. 42. Ooh. That's the secret. That's the secret. Found this awesome hat in Luke's house, so I'll <laughs> run on that now instead of the cap. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. You've covered it I don't know. Much. We'll just make it up as we go along anyway. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, Annoy some people. We just walk around and like film people randomly and just give them like horrible interviews. Just walk up to people randomly. <laughs> just be like, here you go, mate, what do you call it? Yes. Oh. I, I can't, yeah. No, right, sounds good, let's get into it. That's gone badly. Yes, it is. So that, that's not going well for you, is it? No, I've been waiting for a while. I was just wondering if you could like give me a hand or anything. I've got a winch on I just need something to winch off. You can't winch off this. It'll just fall over. No, it won't. Do me right. You're going to put it in. Yeah. It's just stuck on the bottom of the creek. Oh, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll drive down. Mate. Have a look. Suss it out. Suss it out as we go. All oh, right. How do we get down to him? There. Down there. See? Not sure, but we're gonna go down here and try and get, I think it's another ranger. We're gonna try and use my ranger to get this other ranger unstuck from a ranger bomb. What's happened is we're gonna go and rescue old mate down here in a ranger, but Wayno has also got himself bogged over there. So it turns out I'm gonna have to try and rescue. <laughs> well, this is funnier. This, this, is, this is good. So what Wayno's done, he's driving the hole, and now he's stuck. What have you done, mate? Absolutely nothing trying to help him out. Yeah, we're trying to help this dude out. And All I've got to do is get through this few leaks. Right, we're going to go figure this out. Yeah, Wayno's still bold trying to dig himself out. He's fucked. On an ant's nest is what I did. Right, Luke's in. I'm just going to film shit. And See what happens. Don't rule my ranger. It's not going ideally well right now. He's alright, he's coming. Uh, don't break my car. Uh, I don't want to break my car, Luke. Oh, he's almost out. <laughs> that went better than I thought. You might be able to drive out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers, mate. No worries. <laughs> yes, many ants, many ants. <laughs> so, so while, while we're busy helping old mate out, wait, I got himself out. I think he had to dig himself out. He did. Right, make sure he can get up the hill and then we're going to carry on and go and find people. We just parked, where are we not bogged? That's the way. Trying to help the Ford Ranger. With the Ranger? Yes. What do you reckon of the water? You reckon there's going to be some uh, perch in there summer? Yes. It's a bit low. It's still low. Too low for this time of year. Yeah, well, a couple of years ago, this track was underwater at this time of the year, wasn't it? Yeah, and a little bit more. Yeah, so. This is way too low. Not good. 
things in here. Right, we're out in the Virgin Vest. Out there. That'd be good if you that. Yeah, I'd be swimming for it in the metre of water to get it back. With a bear. Exactly a metre of water. It is, I know, I've got like depth sensors ingrained in me. So we're going to uh, go and yeah, do something. The thing was to troll, but we're not doing that because have a look around at the boats. Mm. How many boats there are here? Where are we going, Lake? Going anywhere, we're here now. We're here now. Nicole's doing a thing with the rope at the front there. We're gonna drop some worms and outfish all the people in the competition that we're not a part of. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going for a fish, really. Yeah, something like that. He guarantees us a fish, is what he just said. That. You did. Surely you said, fish, yeah. you said, I guarantee a million percent we get no, didn't say that at all. <laughs> Why do we use these uh, these little mini rods for? So they don't get caught in the trees. Great. Lots of people in the boat. Don't get tangled. Right. That's that's the reasoning. Luke's going to show you what we're using. <laughs> <laughs> quality uh, quality commentary there, Nicole. Thanks, mate. Yeah, literally tackle rats combos. As you can see there. But just with an aftermarket reel. In this case, a 2000 Laguna Daiwa. I think that one there has a uh, Sienna. Yep. Yep. Shimano. Now the braid's actually pretty heavy for what we do because we fish in heavy snags. So this is actually 15 pound, surprisingly. But it's good for bringing up snags. You lose less gear and lose less fish when they wrap you up. Fine. Doesn't matter. It is a fish. Fine. What did you catch? Oh, he's not that. It's pathetic. First fish of the day, and it, I don't even reckon it's going to be 20. How, how big is it, Luke? It is a grand total of 19 centimetres. It's not a great start, is it? I might move. I might move spots there. How come you're the only one that ever catches anything? Because I'm better at you. At you I'm better at you? Yeah, good words. This is a good fish. He, wow. think, he thinks it's a good fish. I hope it's a trout because no one likes them. I've got some uh, head shakes. I think it's a snapper. Swamp snapper? Oh. Look, that is uh, better than I thought it was going to be. Not bad. It's not a 40. What do you reckon? 34? Why can't I catch something? Because I'm better at you than this. Better at you? Yeah, cool. Oh, 33. 33. I was close to me, I think. Right, that one there is going to be the catch and cook in what style? Panko Whatever crumbs. style I decide. Panko crumbs. Pankos. Pankos. See, worms work. Oh, now the lens is all dirty. <laughs> what? I'll do better than you. Everyone's better than me, though, allegedly. It's tiny. How big is it? Um, I can't really see it. Can you bring it closer? Oh, there we go. Now I can say it. It's not huge, is it? I'm still losing, though. I'm not great at fishing, am I? You're getting bites. I'm getting bites. Hang on. That's <laughs> on. First, First fish, fish of, the of the day for me. Have I still got it? Is it that small? I don't even know I've got it. He's oh, alright. Oh, it's a redfin. <laughs> Standard white redfin. Ah, <laughs> spiky. So, this here is uh, Redis Phineas. Percherillo. Family, and there goes my uh, commentary. Let's try again. All right, take. Maybe I can do it a third time. How heavy is that fish? Really heavy. You can see that it's a, it's called a red fin because it's got black stripes on it and it's got a white belly. Ah, oh, hang on, maybe it's because of those bits. How big is it? Twenty-three. Twenty-four. <laughs> 25. Both wrong. Did, did you catch him? Yeah. It's it's massive, guys. Like, get the belt. Seriously. Is it another 12 centimetre? I feel like they're 18. <laughs> Hang on, where is it? Where? It no. is. It's 19. Again. <laughs> right. So. I mean, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, what is that to? Oh, his fins all mounted up. What happened to him? Yeah. The big one tried to eat him. <laughs> or maybe it was the crocodile. The Murray cod. Yeah, muzzers. It's a very slow fishing day. Yeah. It's not much around, apart from the ones that we've caught. Try for a little bit more, then that'll be the end of it. Well, until we cook up, then that'll be the end of it. It'll be like the end of this bit, and then the end of that. So. And just as I've said that, it's not, it's like 18 or He's caught a 15 centimeter. Ready? Yeah. No monsters today, no. No big ones. Just many small ones. Yeah. Twenty one. Ooh, twenty one. We're getting bigger. Yep, twenty one of the greatest. Did I let him go? No, nah. nah, still got him. Is it huge? No. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Um. Nice. Ah, I just spiked myself with it. That it was ridiculous. I think that's the smallest one of the day. Nearly <sighs> day. It's, is it less than? No, nah, it's actually will be good at 11. It's uh, eight, eight, 17. 17 of the greatest redfin centimeters. Hello, we never thought about catching red. It's too late, watched us. No, We're just saying the hook line and copied us. We probably didn't, but. Right, that's uh, it for worm, red fin, drop shot and thing. What was that? I don't know. We're going to go back to the car. Multiple, not just one. Oh, yeah. Nah, we'll just go over there and suss it out until it's gone. See you again soon. Beautiful sunset, been a pretty good day, apart from the stuff going on at home. So I'm heading home, cook up that red bin tomorrow to a catch and cook. And uh, well, it's not gonna be catch and cook, it's already caught, so it'll just be a cook because it's caught. So it'll be caught then cooked. Something like that. Um, yep, I'll see you guys when I am cooking. We're home. We're in the garage. There's the ready that we're going to uh, cook up. Just going to fillet it down, skin it, and then we'll cook it later. All right. Everyone knows my filleting skills are not great, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to fillet it down. Then I'm going to chuck it into some breadcrumbs. Yes, let's do breadcrumbed red fin and see how that goes. But first we'll fillet it. And then we'll cook it, obviously. Can't cook it, then fill it. It wouldn't really work too well, I don't think. But anyway, let's get into it. Filleted. I'll keep those frames, or that frame, sorry, for crab bait for when crab season reopens, or maybe cray bait, because we're gonna try some cray fishing this year, but that is ready. I'll just skin off those fillets, and then we'll uh, get it crumbed up in the pan. We are going to crumb this red fin. So, to crumb red fin, you need flour, bread crumbs, egg, olive oil, butter, salt and pepper, and obviously the fish itself. Also you need a pan. This thing, cool. So what you do, is you get your uh, red fin fillets out of there, put them in some flour, put them in some egg, put them in some breadcrumbs, chuck them in the pan. But you've got to add olive oil and butter to the pan. So let's do that now. It's just gonna be a bit awkward because I've only got one hand. Right, stay there, ready? A little bit of butter, a little bit more butter, right, butter, in, oil, that should be enough, cool, heat, there we go, now we're going to wait until that melts and then sizzles a little bit, so let's get over here and actually on the red fin, while well, that doesn't seem you don't need it super hot, go about that much. Here we go, bit of red fin that we had earlier. Flour first, 
Ooh, yeah, look at that. Get it nice and covered in flour there. Egg. Get it all nice and coated up in that. Look at that. That is looking good. And then we're going to crumb it. Simple. Same as you would do for crumb chicken, except this is crumb redfin and it's way better. All right, that piece is good. Let's do this piece. It's time to head over to the pan. Look at that. Just get it nice and sizzling away there. Heat down a little bit. That's like a mirror thing. Sizzling away nicely. You only want to cook it till it's sort of golden brown. Flip it over, cook it again on the other side. You don't want it too hot because you go too hot and it just burns. Add some salt and pepper. That's about all you need because it is that delicious on its own. But you can add whatever you want, a little bit of chili garlic, anything you want. That's been in there for maybe a minute, two minutes, and it's ready to flip. Whoa, I've overcooked it. Right. I overcooked it a little bit, but you get the point. So you only want to quickly fry it off. So it goes golden brown, not brown brown. Heat off. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Let's give it a try. That is delicious. That is amazing. Make sure you cook your red fin in breadcrumbs. It is absolutely delicious. So, that's how easy it is to cook red fin. If you want me to cook up things in different ways, let me know. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Like and subscribe to the channel for me. That'd be sick. And seriously, try yourselves some breadcrumbs. Red fin. Mwah.